Okay. Action. Yeah. We're rolling. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Just the apps on um, so we've got an experiment where we're measuring the time to drop these paper cups, um, and they reach their terminal velocity. We'll drop them above by about a half a metre, and they'll reach their terminal velocity, and we start time over here until they hit the ground. Um, it's going to be a little bit hard to measure the time, perhaps, but we'll, we'll have to repeat an average to try and get a more accurate reading of what's going on. So let's do a couple of measurements. Uh, actually, before then, just a note on how I've set this up. I've got my meter ruler as straight up and down as I can. If it's on an angle, then it's not giving an accurate distance above the tabletop. Um, so I've looked at it from a couple of different sides to make sure it's vertical on each, each angle, because I might miss it if it's, say, vertical that way, and I'm looking at it from here. It could appear to be straight when it's not. Um, retort stand doesn't need to be uh, wobbly or not wobbly, but... Um, I don't need to correct for it because it's basically staying still. If there was a pendulum on it, that could be wobbling it. So that's not really relevant. But anyway, let's go. I'm expecting to take at least three measurements for my repeating and averaging. <coughs> and because I'm starting it when it hits this level, I'm not going to do a countdown. I'm just going to mm -hmm. let it go and then start and then stop. So here we go. Um, I'd actually do a trial measurement first before I start taking readings, but these ones, uh, I'm just going to start doing readings. Unless it's really crazy. 1.09, let's write that. That's for two paper cups, one inside the other. 1.09. Paper cups again. And 1.02. That's fairly similar. Let's take another one. So I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. If they were spread a bit further, I'd take a few more readings to try and get a more representative average when I did the average. Um, I might just do another set of readings with four paper cups. So you can see there's actually two in each of these little piles that I've set up here. So there's two. Now we have four. Seven seven seconds. It might get quite hard to read when I've got all, all twenty in there, but we'll see. Zero point eight seven. It's a little bit more of a range. It's still not way up, so I'm pretty happy with that. Still. Point seven seven again. Might just do one more in case my 0.87 was an outlier. Point 0.79. So yeah, I think I might have might have done something a little bit uh, unusual with that one. So crossing out the 0.87 one, and yeah, if I was doing this for real, I'd test out um, my initial one with just one or two cups, and then I'd do it with all of them to get a bit of a range. So I knew that roughly what my progression was going to be. Now the other part of the experiment is finding out the mass of the cups. And what a lot of people will do is they'll get one, they'll put it on the electronic balance once it re-zeroes, and you can see that air is already, as I move my hand around there, it can affect the, the mass reading. If I put a single one on there, okay, we get that, but uh, we can actually improve the accuracy by dumping all 20 onto the scale. And what that does, it gives us an extra decimal, uh, an extra significant figure. And then we divide that reading there by the number of cups on the scale, and that's going to give us, with our final for a single cup, it's going to give us an extra significant figure. So if we go back to just a single one on the scale, you see there's only two significant figures, and you can already see that it's, uh, the first one I put down was 0 0.40. Um, with this one it says 0 0.37. We could, we could do a repeat and average for each individual one, 0 0.37 again, and, and we would still 
we can see our re zero is not totally accurate, 0 0.3. But if we repeat an average kind of like this, by putting them all on, that's, that's going to be a much better way to do it, and we get an extra significant figure. Okay, and that's cool. all.